uh, I know there are a lot of other sessions going on equally or better interesting. So, thanks for being here and uh, hopefully I can add some value to your next one hour here. Uh, my name is Tathagat. I work with the Yahoo R&D center that we have in Bangalore here in India. Uh, and just a short uh, intro about uh, what I do over there. So, we have uh, more than 2000 people R&D center here and uh, this is a product uh, center that we have been having for about 10 years now. Uh, I lead uh, the business operations uh, at Yahoo India and I also lead the agile transformation program. So, this is actually my own experiences of how we have been uh, doing the agile transformation uh, at Yahoo for the last two, two and a half years uh, that I am giving you, I am telling you one story of what really we went through, what have been the learnings, uh, might or might not be 100 percent relevant in all the situations, but take your pick and really decide uh, what, what is really relevant for you. Uh, I, I thought I will call it as managing large scale agile transformations and uh, uh, as, as we know the transformation is a very uh, heavy, uh, very heavily loaded word actually. Uh, it is one of the most difficult things, uh, easier to talk about, little difficult to do and much more difficult to sustain that. Uh, one of the biggest, uh, uh, one, one of the most profound and uh, everlasting transformations uh, ever designed by, by people is what is known as the Alcoholics Anonymous actually, which is a self-help group actually, because that is a transformation that we are talking about at an individual level. Uh, how can you really make sure that somebody who is, who is in love with the bottle can actually kick the bottle? So, that is really a transformation. How do you really go from state A to state B? We also talk about when we think of uh, transformation, one of, the, one of the things that come to our mind is metamorphosis. So, a, a pupa turning into a butterfly for example, that is a transformation, but in many of those biological uh, uh, metaphors, there is no control that is available within the system for them to do. So, a pupa does not really or a larva does not have, uh, okay. thank you. Uh, so, so it is well, what, what you can call is at the, as, as an in situ control actually. So, they do not really have being within the system, they do not have a lot of control over what they can do. They cannot really change their destiny. Whereas, the transformations that you and I are more familiar with in an organizational context is not something that you are on a, you are, you are sitting in a band wagon or you are sitting on a rail, rail wagon and somebody is taking you somewhere else. We are talking about a transformation where the, the, the participants are stakeholders, they have an equal stake in it, they have an opportunity to question things, they have an opp opportunity to, to influence the end result of that. So, that is the, that is a kind of a transformation just to set the context there. When I talk about large scale, I am sure there are many more examples in your own companies which might be even larger than that. My definition of large scale is not from a team size perspective here. Uh, 